Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Now it's time for review slash thoughts on. And today we are reviewing slash thoughts on -ing Tales of the Abyss 3D. Now guys, okay, uh, I don't think I do enough review slash thoughts on, but in this kind of relatively rare case, right, I'm actually just doing this because I want to gush about the game, because I really fucking enjoyed it, okay? So I'm just going to sit here and... I don't know about fanboying out, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to talk about this game, and you're going to listen. That's how it normally works. So, with that said, let's get on with this. Tales of the Abyss 3D, part of the now long-running Tales of series, which has been ranging all the way back since the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, was originally released in 2003, 2, I don't know. It was released on the PS2 anyway. Only released in Japan and America. Europe did not get a version of Tales of the Abyss, which is, so it's less than surprising I missed it last generation. But uh, Namco has decided to uh, port the game to the 3DS, and funnily enough, and this is the first time this has ever happened by the way, funnily enough, we got it, this port anyway, before America did, alright? Tales of Vesperia, this game took over a year to come out in the PAL region, and you guys in America had it for way longer, so... That's like a little mini miracle right there. But uh, in any case, you guys will be getting this sometime next year. Now, I originally just picked it up, the same reason I pick up most Tales of games anyway. Namco, for some reason, releases these games in a very low quantity. Right, they'll only release like a few... Like a... F several tens of thousand copies, and they'll not print any more copies. As a result, in a few uh, short months, the Tales of games tend to go for outrageous prices online because everybody buys them. Tales of this game in particular, you can't get it without paying like uh, oops, you can't get it without paying like sixty or seventy quid now. So naturally, I bought it day one without necessarily the intent of you know enjoying. What the fuck is wrong with me? Without necessarily the intent of enjoying it, you know. I kind of just bought it because, well, okay, this is going to get mega expensive some way down the line. Might as well pick it up now while I can, and who knows, I might actually like it. Now, I say that because my previous experience with the Tales of series, right, I know several people, I've got one uh, close friend in particular who is a massive Tales of fan, okay? I remember we were both kind of just starting to get into game collecting, and we both had our eyes on this Japanese RPG for the GameCube, you know, Tales of Symphonia, which I've got in the cupboard. And uh, he bought it before me, and he played through the game, like, you know, several times anyway. You know, he absolutely adored the game, and I'm like, wow, it must be really good. So eventually I got my copy. I played it, beat it. It didn't leave the biggest impression on me. Nowhere near so as much as my friend and several other, like, you know, massive Tales of fans. But I played through it to the end, so I must have been enjoying it, you know? Um... And to this day, I would be like, my attitude towards it is, yeah, it was good. Now, later down the line, I picked up Tales of Vesperia. Now, it took me a while to get this, because, um, the, you know, there was a lot of uh, tossing back and forth about the PS3 version. You know, will the PS3 version be making a uh, release outside Japan? Because I kind of wanted to get it for that console, for the extra content and stuff. But eventually, I decided, nah, it's not going to happen. And I went and got this. Now, I picked this copy up just before... Uh, the prices went up and skyrocketed. You know, I got this for like 28 quid, but now you can't get it for like anything uh, under 80. It's pretty ridiculous. Like, so I was very lucky to get this. But on that note, I can't say I really am that fond of this game, guys. I mean, the Tales of games in general, right, are long. Really long. You know, they take about 40 hours. And most of the time, you're just going, go to this town. Watch a cutscene. Go to this town. Watch a cutscene. Go to this dungeon. Fight some baddies. Fight a boss. Watch a cutscene. Then go to this town. Watch cutscenes. You know, even when playing through Tales of the Abyss, I realised that you know that's pretty much all you do in the Tales of game. Sure, you can go to like a, a different town that the story's not telling you. Do some side quests, the typical JRPG mumbo jumbo. But that's essentially what you do. So. When playing through Tales of Vesperia, which I did play through to the end, by the way, it almost felt like a waste of time, you know? Because I just sat myself down to play through it. I felt more obligated to play through it because it was such a critically acclaimed game and not necessarily something I was enjoying personally. Which sounds really pathetic and lame, I know, but... 
Uh, what can I say? I was like, I guess I'm just, I guess I was just that committed. The gamer inside me was that committed to do so. So, yeah, after beating Tales of the Vesperia, I kind of just like brushed off the Tales of series in general, you know. But then Tales, well, when, did I say Abyss? I think I said Vesperia, but if I said Abyss, I meant Vesperia. But yeah, and with Tales of the Abyss, like I said, well, it's going to be rare in a few months, might as well pick up. But then I started playing it, and I almost instantly hated it at the start. The main character was fucking annoying. Nothing was changing, because, again, the Tales of games are very, very samey, you know, throughout the series, or at least the three that I've played, and I'm willing to bet the other ones are as well, you know. Pretty much the same combat, the same sort of structure and all that. Which is fine, if someone's not broke, don't fix it, but... Yeah, I'm just, just a little observation there. But as it went on, I fucking fell in love with it, guys, seriously. And to be honest, the bottom line, I'm just going to give the bottom line right here, I think it was all down to the story. I genuinely gave a shit about the characters and the world in this game. Not to mention, it was really pretty humorous, you know? Now, all the Tales of games are quite humorous, you know, Symphonia and Vesperia. They can give you a smile and make you chuckle from here to here. But I was outright lolling at this, seriously. And that is one of the things that the Tales of series, you know, keeps in mind, the humour. Uh, especially in terms of localization. The localization is always really good, albeit slow and unreliable. But, um, yeah, the story just really pushed me forward, you know. The main character, Luke, he's one of my favorite RPG heroes of all time. You know, like, just, just, just saying out of this, right, you know, when you beat the game, okay, after seeing how far Luke has come, when you beat the game and, like, you've known Luke at the end of the game, when you go back to the beginning of the game and start again, he's a completely different person, and you just see, it kind of just blows your mind how far he came in terms of being a character, and that's not really present in any of the other Tales of games, you know? I really didn't like Lloyd, uh, he was kind of a typical, arrogant, cocky, you've seen him in the Hunter's RPGs before, and Yuri, Yuri does have some interesting points to him, but I just don't find him that likeable or interesting. That's just me. And Colette and Esteliz please. They were just like the same sort of like, you know, shy, clumsy, oh, I'll do anything for you, you know, one was like this. Would heal everything in sight to the point where it went crazy. If you've played Vesperia, you know what I'm talking about. And the other one, Colette from Symphonia, was literally an angel. She had wings and a halo. She was an angel and it was like, Jesus Christ, could you be any more fucking open about her purity, you know, they've practically got, um, should I say the V word? They've practically got the V word, you know, stamped on their head. Okay, that's in pretty poor taste, but in any case, okay, the bottom line is the story of Symphonia and Vesperia didn't really appeal to me that much, you know, they kind of just went by. More so Vesperia than Symphonia, you know, I couldn't tell you a thing about Vesperia. I remember there was like these dragon things that were important somehow and how uh, this Blastia stuff was bad for the world. But that's all I could tell you. I literally don't know anything else about the story in Tales of Vesperia. It all just went by. I just It's kind of like watching a bad YouTube video, you know? You're just like... All you remember is the fucking... You know, time bar thing going across the screen and that, you know? It was just so friggin' boring to me. And I know I'm pissing off a lot of people here, and I probably know less than I should by commenting on this, but... I just don't like Tales of Vesperia. I do like Symphonia a bit more, you know, but at the same time, they're just so underwhelming to me. But that all changed so much with the Tales of the Abyss. I really genuinely, honestly, loved this game, and it's actually made me want to go out and play some more of the Tales of games, you know, like Tales of Eternia, also known as Tales of Destiny 2 in America, but not to be confused with the real Tales of Destiny 2, which were released in Japan on the PS2, but only released in Japan. Uh, Tales of Fantasia, which had a Game Boy Advance port, was a Super Nintendo game. And, you know, Tales of Graces F, which is coming out. Tales of Graces was, was like this Wii game, uh, f part of the Tales of game, but uh, the Wii version isn't getting a, you know, international release, but the PS3 version is, known as Tales of Graces F, which has a bunch of extra content, and I'm rambling here, I know, but just let me gush for a minute, just let me fucking gu I really like this fucking game, all right? I, the ending was so fucking emotional, and it's like, I was just never bored for the whole game, you know? Even though it was, like, lo everything was kind of drawn out and shit, just like all the other Tales of games, I was never bored because I was so interested in learning on what the fuck was going to happen next. I don't play many RPGs like that anymore. 
Even Xenoblade, which came out, I guess, technically last year now, which I fucking loved, yeah. But it was more of a game that I respected than personally loved. And I think I can say, if I was talking, like, you know, um, realistically, Xenoblade was better than Tales of the Abyss, you know. But on an emotional level, Tales of the Abyss was just like, pfft, I loved it a lot more, I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm totally gushing here and now I'm not making any sense. A lot of you probably clicked away for a minute. I even probably went over 15 minutes now and now going to have to put this into a two-parter and you guys are going to be like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is he going on about? But I'm just saying, the game was really good, okay? I enjoyed it a lot. If you are planning to pick it up, pick it up. If you live in Europe, you don't have it yet, you're going to have to shell out a bit more money for it, which sucks, I know. I don't know why Namco doesn't print more copies, but... I really, really like it. It gets Scottish Duck's seal of approval, okay? It really does. But if you live in America, pre-order the game, just if you haven't played it on the PS2. If it did come out in the PS2 here, I would have loved to have played it on that console rather than this, because I did hear this actually was a pretty shitty port. The 3D was terrible, and some of the textures were quite low and dumbed down in, in relation to the footage for the PS2 version that I've seen on YouTube anyway. But yeah, okay, I'm totally rambling here. I'm just going to end it now. I love Tales of the Abyss 3D. Yes, yeah, it's just go by it and, pfft, yeah. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching.